Hello guys, this is Nishant Tandon once again for you guys today. Coming up with a new thought uh, we should um uh you know, we should be embracing today and that thought is that hum kitne acche hain ye zyada zaruri nahi hai jabki zaruri ye hai ki hum kitna acha banna chahte hain. So this this is very nice book from the oldies and uh, the book is uh, it's not how good you are but it's how good you want to be it's beautifully written uh, scripted you know phrases here and the few of the phrases that i would like really like to you know uh, read out to you all is uh, something that i'm going to share with you guys so um, how many of us are actually having a goal in life I'm not sure if I had a goal a few years ago. Now I have thought about you know I'm you know a place where I want to be but that's not the place I really want to be always because once I reach that particular place I want to go beyond that too. And that is something very important for all of us to believe that we should all all have a vision. But you know there was all there would always be something new even after that that you would always like to explore so the exploration never ends because the vision gets further and grows further with the steps that we take in our life you know if i could see till to level a as soon as i move to level a i could see some way close to level b and then i keep moving in the same direction so uh, the first thought for the day is something that i want to share with you is that our vision of where or who we want to be is the greatest asset we have but that is actually our vision it is not something that is to be embarrassed by others or to be embraced by itself it is to be embraced by others even though if you want to embarrass yourself sometimes it is all about listening to the people and attending to each and every detail and whatever they are saying but that doesn't mean that you start feeling sad if somebody has said bad to us that should not replace my vision with something that i really want in my life because that is my decision my decision is something that does not change with the thought process of others and neither it should do like that so we should always have a goal even though if it's a difficult goal without having a goal it is very difficult to score even think of think of a sport like a cricket If there are no boundaries will you be able to evaluate either a 6 or a 4 the answer is a no think about another sport football if there's no goal will you be able to score a goal <laughs> the answer is a no again wherever you hit it doesn't you doesn't score a goal you're playing on a cricket ground which does not have boundaries you will not be able to evaluate even if the person hits out of the the, the stadium because you have not actually created the fence which is called goal but that fence when i say it we shouldn't just take it as a fence because beyond the fences there are further more fences yeah so To start with one thought today this is without having a goal it is difficult to score so we should all have a goal and the most important thing is that knowing how good you are and moving towards how good you want to be and don't ask for feedback don't let you know yourself give a feedback to you first listen to what you which is not being said on your face at times because what's not been said on your face is an actual feedback to you 
always believe that we can achieve the unachievable let me just take back this particular thing to our personal lives why do we strive for excellence when mediocrity is required there's a little demand in today's world for excellence i understand there's a much much bigger demand for mediocrity and the truth is that i'm glad it is this way imagine a world where everyone is wonderful imagine a world where you know everyone is perfect imagine a world where everyone is producing the same thing imagine a world where everyone want to do the same thing imagine a world where every customer every relative every relationship is wonderful where we you know where we create whatever we felt like with no restrictions with everybody having freedom to create of all their fantasies unfettered by tedious people around us tedious jobs that we do tedious creation that we want to work on what would we do we would react against it saying isn't it boring how can we be dull let's do it badly let's make it ugly let's make it really cheapy or i should say cheaply this there's a lot to compete but there is a lot to compete within ourselves before i could go out in the market before i want to be the best in my family i should not look up to somebody in the family to want to be like i should look inside me to improve on what i am and how am i being conceived by others how people around me conceive me as a person is very important and that is something is in my hands there is a nature of creative people all creative people need something to rebel against it what gives their life excitement and it's creative people who make the client lives exciting as well and the relatives around us so it is in our hands how good we want to be always remember all of us want to be good at something or the other in our families in our relatives in the society but how good do we really want to be is it quite good that we want to be is it good we want to be is it very good that we want to be or is it the best in whatever we are doing is what we want to be or it is the best in the world that we want to be talent helps i understand and i believe but it won't take us as far as ambition will take us to everybody wants to be good but not many are prepared to make sacrifices that it takes to great everybody wants to achieve and be at the best of the positions but not many are prepared to make the sacrifices it takes to be there to many people being nice in order to be liked is more important there's an equal merit in that but you must not confuse being good with being liked we must not confuse being good with being liked most people are looking for a solution a way to become good there is no instant solution the only way to learn is through experiences the only way to learn is through experiences but the better way to learn is through mistakes you will become whoever you want to be if you really know how good you want to be so i leave everyone with this thought today that 
it is important that we understand how good we are through the means of feedback which are unspoken and understand how good we want to be thank you very much for listening and i wish you all have a great life ahead spreading happiness and be helpful be kind be positive and always be there for others thank you very much have a blessed and a safe life ahead this is nishant tandon signing off for today have a good time ahead bye bye